100% water, because that guy is a morphling god. I'm going to have to go with IG on this one. They have done the naughty. It's definitely, I mean, if they can do it, if they can bring down IG, I, I feel like even with a little less sleep, you know, and things like that, they're going to go, what is this move from Nygma? They wrapped all the way around behind the tier one tower. You can't retreat. Nygma uh -oh. has cut off the retreat, but maybe this is a fight they can't actually win because he after all, it's underneath the tower. GH is on his way out with a battle hunger, ticking out on him, but Kaka says, hello, goodbye, first blood, thank you very much. I can't, they, they even had a goddamn ward, Cat. <laughs> <laughs> they somehow they have a ward in the vicinity. So they actually see them as they go for the backstab on the tower. ILTW, skilled beam, not ideal in this scenario. I imagine he would want to be playing with Aura in the lane phase, but... The last Kuro nice gets the double win. stun for Kuro. They've already given up first blood after a while, so you know. I just, just, oh no. Yeah, Nemo's on the other side. I think Kuro's like, did I get away? No, no, you didn't. Thing to note though, yeah. this is an emo morphling. So Titan GH is already running low on uh, regen because <laughs> uh, that early clash. So. I'm actually not sure what he's going to do here with only a Tango to work with. He actually gets a healing sound from the Courier. He's going to run it back at Kaka here. Oh, Gets a bunch spirit. of creeps. He's going to need some help here. Kaka may actually just die. The Axe needs to come over and help him out, but he's not. He's separated by the trees. He's not going to get there in time. GH reads it perfectly and finds an opportunity Absolutely to even out the not. kill score just a little bit. A lot about the importance of stuns. Well, Abaddon, you know, no. it's minus one stun. Every six seconds, you remove it from a key carry that allows them to potentially pop BKB or even just re-engage. Makes it a lot harder to play heroes like Lion that are reliant on stun chains to find 100 to zero kills. It just doesn't work, and the five position is an easy save. GH gets rid of that battle hunger real quick and starts battling up against JT. JT hoping for spins, and he gets one and manages to get the kill on GH as a result right as he dies to ILTW. Top lane. Yeah, Mana Jane onto Fly Fly, but not really a hero combination. Well, they're at the major. You get where I'm going. Yeah. I mean, this is your, in, in a way, wild card is basically your second chance to get in, right? That's how it was viewed for TI. Kaka yep. in some trouble here. He's going to hex up GH. He's got to get away. JT going to draw the aggro here on GH and hoping for a spin to be able to kill him. Doesn't quite get it. ILTW finishes off Kaka. We'll take a little bit of damage deny. from JT on the way out, but GH gets the deny of the neutral creep. Good call. Whether really for that point in hex. This uh, power rune is going to be really big, and it may be even bigger if they can kill JT, but JT actually getting the call off just before GH could hit him the first time. He takes a little bit of magic damage there. He may have to reset and head back to base with no regen on him. The power rune was a haste rune for Miracle, and he's actually going to come down to this bottom lane. Long range tornado catches Kanka, setting up the kill just beautifully. Yeah, he used a lot of mana, though, all three spells. And uh, it's funny they got they got a second ward that's right there up on the the high ground, seeing that uh, that hard camp stack too. So almost doubling down on vision is fly fly in some big time trouble here. The spear doesn't even need to connect to a tree, cuts through his heart, brings him down. Time switching into the exhort build and going for more damage dealing. Sometimes they go max wex and play more of a playmaker. I've seen Midas's, orchids, witch blades. Everyone's got their own style, but this is like dagger, but mid tower, last hit by Miracle. <laughs> and it's gonna be a little awkward for IG, who after all picked up a death prop, and they were supposed to be the ones with the advantage. We're gonna watch Super die here, was not respecting that Nygma is still within striking distance and really should not be backing up anyway. I love this. Midas build on Miracle. It's yeah. huge hit or miss. Yours. It certainly could be. There's an invis on the DP. He's being patient. Yeah, he's more. waiting for his opportunity to lead off. He can get a silence, and then if somebody else can follow up with an actual stun. Oh, he's going for a TP out, and that's perfect. Yule Scepter, opportunity time for them to be able to get follow up to Sable's Miracle. Is he going to be able to get away thanks stop. to the stomp? A nice tornado and a good stomp. It's going to allow him to slip into the trees here. I see they've lost their opportunity. Oh, that's huge. Kill the big Miracle Invoker. Meanwhile, top lane, the axe is going to be speared up. They're going to mass TP over here. ILTW. It's going 
going to have to back away as Flyfly Fly, using the rest of this exorcism now trying to punish the Mars. He throws the silence out on ILTW. Looks like he wins there. Three man stop. Immediately they go for the blow up on JT. They get it too. A spear onto the Death Prophet Super. He doesn't actually have an Aphonic Shield right away, so Fly Fly is actually in trouble here. He goes and throws the Spirit Siphon onto the Centaur and onto GH to try and heal a little bit more. And it looks like it's going to be Super who's left behind. The two supports dying there and the offlaner of IG. Nigma finding kill opportunities on both sides of the map. Only here, they're going to smoke into their own jungle. And it's going to break right here. Super's going to be first target. Tornado EMP, so they can't really go for him directly as he's going to be forced to pop his ultimate. Kaka stuck in this cliff area. He's caught by the LTW. He's going to pop the Eclipse. Emo, he jumps into it. So much magic damage. He's being overwhelmed, but he does manage to at least get that off the Ghost Sifter. It's magic damage fades and more sinister strength. He's getting a bit of time here. A stomp to finish off Super. Boom. There he goes. Slept up on JT as well. So they're going to stall out long enough for the next round of spells to come through and finish off this offlaner again. IG losing fight after fight. Nigma continues to control the game. Oh my god, what a game. Nigma, I haven't seen the play this well. Like of all the times to turn up, GH has had near flawless positioning. No, they didn't quite spot him. He saw, he saw, the, slow. He saw the slow on the creep. Oh, he sees the creep slow down, knows that Miracle's here. Emo's going to back off as well. Now they may still be able to catch Kaka here. He's kind of in no man's land. Spotted, but he actually gets the disable first on a Kuro. Kuro turns around immediately, hexes up Emo, but they're in hot pursuits here. The tornado trying to create a little bit of space, but a long range Earth spike coming out from Emo as he turns into the lion and catches the captain of Team Nigma. Now, they're gonna back out into their tier one tower unless Miracle actually gets caught here. JT does have his blink dagger. It looks like Miracle hits some trouble. The spear arena combination is not gonna be good enough to save him. Miracle goes down a dominating streak, going back to JT, who desperately needs. It. No you, arena. This is very risky. They're going to get the initiation on a curl here. This opening pick. They may That's still be able to get to Roshan. Tower's going to fall. Curl's going to fall. Are they, they taking this Roshan fast enough? Looks like they will. In fact, IG may even know and just be disregarding it and saying, look, look, I mean, look where the Death Prophet is, man. Yeah. He's right next to the tier two. They're saying, let them have Walk up the hill. They're going to. Hang it out, and they're gonna try and keep chasing. But there's no trees to hide. There's no trees to hide. JP blinks farther down. Can they chase after him? I'm looking for Miracle to see. Oh, GH is on him. He's on him. He hit him with the spirit. He knows he's here somewhere, and he's gonna find him. He throws out the Earth Splitter to make sure JT is gonna be caught somewhere here with no opportunity to be able to teleport away. A lot of space and time being created. All surrounding yes. the mid tower. They smoke out. They want to use DH to smoke into back. this ward area. And it's gonna break on the low ground here. They try and make their jump. Mind control does manage to get the spear onto JT, and they're surrounded inside the arena. They get off, and they get blown up by all this damage, and Fly Fly doesn't get any damage out for the exorcism. I LTW challenging anybody who comes across from IG and Emo's on his way out, turns around, and he's a nice Zer spike as he uses that haste rune to get out of here. Super not going to be as lucky, though, slowed down by a nuke and should be able to finish him off. Good hit from Nigma, a great smoke and fast reactions from mind control specifically. Be as really careful as Emo. If you aggressively E Blade and then try to go toe to toe with the morph, yeah, 39 plus 2. Yeah. <laughs> Melee range of ET, that's just plus 2. Yep, yep. No, he's definitely going to have to be very careful. And that's why he's got this blink dagger. They're going to go. Magic damage burst on mind control. But mass rotations are coming from Nigma. They're looking to catch somebody here. And they're going to find JT. JT doesn't get the blink away fast enough. The spirit hits him first. And now, Nigma, they've got a freebie. They've got the trade off of offlaners. You take that. IG had to work. You need to take. IG not trying to sneak a Roshan here. Otherwise, they'd get caught inside the pit. Go back to their own high ground here. Nigma, of course, full of confidence. Approach. They break immediately. Super. He's going to be the one to break it. He's okay with this. The arena has been used just for him, and he's going to pop his ultimate. Here comes the Cataclysm. Big shots coming out. Fly, fly down to half. Save goes with Emo. They're battling it out. ILTW throw, drops his ultimate, but the BKBs align them to pursue through. Oh, Emo gets blasted. He's BKB. Wears out the Earth Splitter. Snaps him in half, and there goes Super as well. And a dieback, buyback. Okay. IG get wiped in this team fight. Nigma, head of full head of steam, are just going to barrel down the mid lane. They say, screw oh, Roshan. Let's go for the throat. You talk about playing a win cat. They just ran up the high ground blind, dropped the arena on the hard support, missed the spear, just praying somebody would land in front of it. Miracle somehow survives, leading the entire IG team in a wild goose chase. There are buybacks available. This is a Luna. This is a Lacrid. He's got drunk. They've this got no buybacks, Kyle. That, like, do you know drunk? Nigma might just you go might? thrown here. Oh, do it. Start They're hitting it. it. No one buys. That's a lot of bounces. 
There's no doing it. Yeah, they're gonna do it. They're gonna do it. They're gonna go for it right here. Nigma. Luna destroys tier four oh towers. IG, they're not gonna be here fast enough. Shadow Shaman's gonna buy back now. He's like, I'm gonna slow this down, but he can't get there in time. The Hooter's gonna stop his blink dagger. He's gonna stop to try and make sure the Shadow Shaman is gonna be here in time. He's not gonna be here in time. Nigma, they are getting out of the wild card, and they're going to the group stage. Oh my god, look at the pop-off. They did it the hardest way possible. You cannot ask extra games necessary, not just in the tiebreaker.